Hey guys, so if like me you were a teenager in the 90s, you're probably familiar with a game called Pang. This was a very popular game in arcade halls. Uh, you played as one of the Buster Brothers, I think, and uh, you had to shoot balloons across the uh, across the screen. You could play one player, but the fun of it was playing two players. Now this was never, never released on the uh, MSX. Um, for good reason, I mean the MSX was as the end of its life at the time and uh, and Pang was released on other platforms but not on the MSX until uh, a few years ago 2014 uh, where uh, somebody ported the game uh, Michel Louvet uh, ported the game or is it M Mitchell no, Michel Louvet he looks like he's French or probably Dutch or Belgian uh, this comes from the repro factory uh, Eric Bues uh, made these uh, fine cards uh, they come in standard uh, card box replacement box uh, you get the instruction uh, on the inside and uh, look at this card it's absolutely gorgeous check out his, uh, his shop uh, it might be uh, out of action at the moment because uh, Eric is recovering from uh, surgery I believe uh, we wish him well but it'll be back soon uh, look at this card it looks really cool um, totally as a brand new cat would have looked at the time i love the art um and uh, and all the all the logos are there so um yeah made by the repro factory for msx1 so we're gonna check this out uh, i haven't played it yet i received it a while back i put it on the shelf and uh, uh, I always said I'd have to play it at some point and I'm only getting around to playing it now. I'm a huge fan of the game. I actually have the uh, arcade game. I have the PCB uh, for Pang. Uh, I play it every now and then and it's it's uh, thoroughly enjoyable. So let's check out Pang for the MSX. I'm playing this on an MSX 2 Plus but the experience will be exactly the same on an MSX 1 really. Press fire to play, NTSC machine, it recognizes the name, NTSC, wow! Okay, it controls actually quite well, it doesn't seem to be slow down, I'm expecting slow downs because the uh, sheer number of balloons, actually not really, playing with the keyboard is probably going to make a good bit of sound noise, but um, my controller is out of action at the moment, so... I'm gonna try and be as uh, as quiet as possible. This is cool, actually. I, I like the uh, actually they did very well on the graphics, uh, considering the uh, the limitations. Remember the the MSX only has 16 colors, uh, 16 fixed colors. It's not like you can uh, select 16 out of a, a, another palette. That's it, 16 colors. So they're actually doing very well. Well, I would have lost my marbles at the time if that came out on the MSX. Would it be cool to have it on the MSX2 though? I think that's a game that was known for its graphics and its, the background. And uh, maybe the MSX... I'm going to lower the volume. Oh, maybe the MSX1 doesn't do it uh, full justice. Come on, stay here. Still, it's impressive. You know, so, some of the stuff is missing, like small animations and things like that, but the core of the gameplay is there, and I think that's what they went for. Well, I just made sure that the uh, at least the gameplay was intact, and it's pretty close to the original. I'm, I'm noticing some slight difference in the collision detection. You can see the ball bouncing sometimes are, are a bit off, uh, but this is very minor stuff. Yeah, this is uh, it's actually quite uh, impressive. I'm going I'm to play this more often. Should I get an animation here? Normally you get an anime. Oh no, that's level three. Oh no. Okay, I've moved to uh, London now. Yeah, there's a little map in the original game that shows you where you're where you're going to. Um, I'd say for for memory reason or maybe time constraint as well when you're coding. They couldn't uh, they couldn't do it. 
Although with modern cards you could have easily included the extra ROM. Is this on, on 16k or yeah no you need okay you need 35 uh, k's of ram um still most people now they play msx uh, games on at least on msx2 i believe um I'm sure they could have extended the requirements a bit but no you know There's one thing. Uh, whoa! <laughs> There's one thing. Is the music is a bit too aggressive? Um, is that well? I would say that's using the standards PSG, but it could have even worked so that it's a bit softer. The uh, the original music was was known for being, you know, in, in re restrained and very soft and sort of sort of loungy type of uh, type of vibe this is a bit too sharp and aggressive but it's still the original um, although it had a few musics I wonder if any of the other musics are there Another difference would be the uh, night and day. I'm not. Is there a day? I'm not seeing it. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah, of the Statue of Liberty with the French flag. Well, she she was French. Now, do we get a different time of the day after this? No, yeah, it's all one single uh, graphic still. I mean, it's the graphics you'd see in the, the original. Um, obviously, reduced to uh, fit on the uh, MSX format, but it's quite faithful. They didn't do new levels or didn't try uh, to uh, invent stuff that wasn't there. Oh, come on. I was trying to go down, I, was, I wasn't pressing the right button. Whoa! <laughs> I'm not seeing any timer either. There's a timer in the original. But really, I shouldn't be comparing this to the original. It's quite, uh, it's, it's, it's quite a, a very nice job they've done. Um, Oops, got stuck on the ladder. Um, it's quite a nice job they've done. Uh, oh, and there you go. <laughs> Same music for the end. Well, um, this is this is very very cool. I'm actually uh, thoroughly impressed. Um, and it's a, it's a lovely job they did on the cover and uh, on the uh, presentation. I would have loved a. A manual, but there's actually you know there's not much to say about the game. I don't think there's actually a need for a manual, but uh, uh, I, I, it's just me uh, loving manuals. But a really nice job. I'm really glad I got this actually. Uh, and uh, so well done, um, Michel Louvet and uh, Repro Factory for doing this. These look absolutely stunning. I'm gonna take the carrot out. I'm gonna play this for another while, but there you go. This is a uh, this is the homebrew of uh, Pang for the MSX. Um, I thoroughly recommend uh, getting this one if you have an MSX. It's not it's not overly pricey, and they are made on the uh, per, you know on, on order. So uh, there you go. Check it out. I'll leave the link to the Repro Factory, and uh, you, you can you know make your own mind. Anyway, thanks for watching, and see you next time.